Everyone, remain calm. Yeah, ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. And later there's running and then screaming. Somebody talk to me, what is happening? Welcome to Jurassic World. You're listening to the Jurassic Park Podcast. You want to consult here or in my bungalow? <laughs> Hold on to your butt. Well, we're back. Hello and welcome to a special update episode of the Jurassic Park podcast. I'm your host, Brad Jost, and today I'm joined by... Jay Jurassic, a huge Jurassic fan and collector who I'm sure you've seen across the internet. Today, we are bringing you a special update to cover the possible collapse of the uh, the licensing deal between Hasbro and Universal on the Jurassic World toy line. Now, before we get into it, let's welcome Jay to the podcast. How's it going, man? It's going well, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, I'm, I'm reeling from this news uh, as well as uh, most, most of the community is, but uh, we've got some big stuff to it's cover. A- yeah, that's it's it's really big news. Yeah, it's it's really shocking actually. Um uh you know, a lot of people kind of forecasted that we're going to get a few things here and there in in the coming months and maybe over the next year. Um and who knows? I mean, I feel like it's probably up in the air at this point. Um we didn't expect to see this kind of announcement of uh you know, Hasbro kind of cutting ties because Universal and and them can't really agree on this. So, um you know, let me just outline it a little bit here. Um, earlier today, I uh, I was just floating around Twitter, and like I usually do every day, I just kind of skim the Jurassic, Jurassic Park hashtag, and, and I actually spotted a tweet by some random financial account, really doesn't matter, but it was indicating that there was some sort of trouble with, with Hasbro and uh, their recent, I guess, quarter or, or however long. So I did a little bit of digging, and I found a, a decent source. It's it's a little resource, you, resource you'd call the uh, the Wall Street Journal. Uh, so mm-hmm. I decided to write like a little article and let the community know what was going on, you know, the Jurassic Park fans. And uh, it was a complete shock for me to see what was going on. Um, I actually have a few quotes here, uh, one from the Wall Street Journal and one from CNN. Let me just read these. Um, this first one says, but the sales in its Boyd division rose just 4% in the period after posting a 24% gain in the first quarter. The weakness was caused by a 20% drop in Transformers and other significant drops in the Jurassic World toys, uh, which the company says will continue to weigh on the results this year. Uh, Chief Executive uh, Brian Goldner added that Hasbro will lose the Jurassic Park license at the end of 2017 because Hasbro couldn't agree on a renewal terms with the franchise owner Universal Studios. Uh, This next quote comes from CNN. It says, shares of Hasbro fell more than 6% on Monday following concerns that the company had lost its Jurassic Park license, but CEO Brian Goldner told Jim Cramer that 2017 could be a better year. He said, we had some headwinds with Jurassic Park, but un- but again, a great quarter in categories, and we grew every geography around the world, Goldner said. So overall, it looks like just the, the overall, I guess, boys division kind of dropped a lot. It, and it's really because they saw such huge gains, I guess, in a previous period. Um, but it's it says it's marking a significant drop in Jurassic World toys as well. So and then obviously that point that I mentioned that they're they're going to lose the Jurassic Park license at the end of 2017. So uh, what are your thoughts on on all this? Well, my thoughts on it is um, well, you know, what I mean, it's it's not known around the community. It's nothing new that the quality of the toys have gotten worse. You know, with the with the Jurassic World line. Uh, one thing that we wanted was human figures and we only got one really uh yeah. the owen here and you know what i mean i have i barely have touched mine he's just like there <laughs> i don't really move him around because i've seen everybody that his arms fall off you know what i mean the quality is bad um mm-hmm. uh, the irex doesn't stand up uh you know we you look at the toys from the past, you look at Kenner and even uh, Star Wars toys have been reported to have uh, malfunctions and breaking easily and, and flimsy and all that. It's just 
that has gone around the community and that's lessened the people to go out there and actually buy buy these toys Mm -hmm. me i'm a collector yeah so sadly i'm like just (laughs) like you know just pulled into this yeah uh, it's like there's some that i didn't get and now i'm like damn i should have got them when they were there but at the same time like they're so bad that i don't want them (laughs) but oh i know just to be a completist I get yeah. them. We should mention that. Even, we should mention that before we get too far. That your collection is, is huge. It's one of the biggest ones I've seen, at least in the community. Um, and and I, I just I'm like in awe of every picture that you post on Instagram and stuff like that. It, it blows me away. Yeah, it's it's a long time collecting. <laughs> Been collecting since I was a kid, and dinosaurs overall. But then I just uh, went all Jurassic Park in the last couple of years I went from just collecting the toys and the figures mm-hmm. to actually collecting all the rest of the merchandise which I had from like a lot of the Jurassic Park merchandise I have is from when I was a kid mm-hmm. but like uh, in recent years I've been collecting more of the Lost World Jurassic Park 3 now with Jurassic World like the the standees the um just books and all and, and other merchandise other than the toys yeah, I've been yeah. going into to that realm because as a kid i didn't want a lot of the other stuff i just wanted the toys and the figures and and the books and stuff but i never wanted like pencils erasers i had some but over the years i've lost them you yeah. know you move around and just growing up you lose a lot of stuff but some the core toys have always been there and i and when i you know for years i had them in storage and then i took them out a couple years back when i heard that dress park 4 was going to become something i was like yes finally you know mm. but when yeah. i compare those to what has been being put out <laughs> lately it's just like ah, yeah it's tough to really really and you hear it about it with everyone else you know so. i know yeah the community is kind of exploding right now um a lot of people are actually happy you know it's it's not a surprise that many people are happy about the announcement that this is you know fallen through um and i i can say the same thing i guess to a point you know there yeah, there's same. there's it's a it's a bit sad in in some terms but you you hope for the best i guess cuz there's no there's no answer right now we don't know what's going to happen yes. exactly yeah there's no guarantee we're going to get a good company that will actually care about these uh this um this franchise and this licensing we yeah. have no idea who's going to take it on and whoever can take it on do they have the ability to create uh great toys or could they you know i mean a good idea i feel would be just to kind of let the license um almost somewhat roam freely so different companies could take on different figures and different uh collections like mm-hmm. you can have one that uh just work with like little kids toys one that can work just for collectors one that can work for like a classic line or you know i mean even mm-hmm. give some line to the funko pops you know we exactly we, i've yeah. that's the, that's one thing everybody every other movie funko pops has made it and i'm i'm still waiting on Jurassic <laughs> park funko pops you know i, know, I go to these yeah. uh, toy shows and I, i'm always like please let there be one <laughs> and, but you know i mean i check online and i know there isn't but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not good news. <laughs> yeah. But no, you're you're right. Like we don't know what to expect in the future, and you know, there's not a ton of companies that can produce in the same no. scale that that Hasbro can. And there is. you know, Hasbro took over the reins, uh, you know, from Kenner and, and basically closed them down. Um, so there's not a ton of companies out there. You know, you have some Mattels and different things like that, but. Who knows if the quality will be any better, you know, because we're all praying that we're, we'll, or we're all assuming the quality will be better, no matter and, and who it, it is, you know? And the thing is that we know they can produce good toys. We've of course. Seen, we've seen Jurassic Park 3 toys, okay? They weren't the best mm-hmm. out of the line, but if you compare those Pteranodons, even to the Kenner Pteranodons, they blow them out of the water. These The, the Pteranodons that were created in the Jurassic Park 3 line are re- a spectacle to look at <laughs> uh the large one the alpha pteranodon it looks like it just popped out of the movie it has it's like a stan winston sculpt yeah, yeah the wings the body's a little different but because they had to have add that like play feature for the toy but the face the the crest just the beak the even like the look of the eyes is exactly like that scene that you've seen in jurassic park 3 when they're seeing billy getting pecked away by the pteranodons yeah, yeah. and that just looks back like in a horror scene Oh, Perfect. God, yeah. <laughs> so we know, yeah, we know they can produce something great. Uh-huh. 
just like the animatronic Spinosaurus that I've seen has blown up on on eBay. It's in, it's crazy. And when I showed everybody I have one, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, I got one, and I got it back then. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a strange yeah, world. It's a it's a very strange world right now because uh, all we have to show for Jurassic World is these toys that most people don't like. But like you said, we buy them out of obligation almost you know we feel obligated yeah. because like you you've been collecting these things since the beginning and you have to complete your 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 series there you know you have to continue to buy them so it's it, an obsession <laughs> it is it's an obsession for sure and i you know i i'm obsessed but i don't i don't have too too many unfortunately i i a lot of my my toys from when i was a kid just i guess i just destroyed them over time i just wasn't uh into <laughs> collecting them at that moment so i you know i I don't regret it now, even though, you know, because I had fun with them. Yeah. But oh, yeah. um, I wish I could go to the store and just keep buying all these these Hasbro toys for Jurassic World. But I, you know what I do is I, I'll head into the store, I'll pick them up, and I'll look at them for a minute, and I'll be like, I'm going to get this. And then I hel- hold it for a little bit longer, and I'm like, eh, no. I know. I just put it back I'm, on the shelf. It's I'm such a shame. Right. Yeah, I'm there right now with that, that green Velociraptor. The, oh, the really? repaint of the hybrid. Okay, I, I've seen it so many times at the at like uh, Target and at uh, at Toys R Us, and I look at it and I'll say, "Next time," <laughs> <laughs> and it's been like three or four next times. Like it's just uh, it's it's just, it's. I feel you know the paint job is so much. Better. Why wasn't it done the first time around? You know mm-hmm. when I bought the other one and whatnot. Even though it looks great, it's just the same play in the the same same, like warped legs you know it's just yeah you know know. those those ones like you said earlier with some other products these are hard to stand up they don't just stand there and you know some of the older ones had had similar issues but but um i do i do uh, really i gotta say i like the paint job on this this green one it it is it is nice right yeah it's it's great it's it it's the exact paint job that they have in the game only it doesn't have like the feather crest yeah on the head yeah like in Jurassic World, the game, mm-hmm. but uh, the paint job is great, and uh, I love all the sounds they added to like the hybrid T Rex. But the sculpt is still, still, mm, yeah. I yeah. don't like that T Rex sculpt. And I was so happy when I saw like some prototype pictures of the the the, the strike the SS uh, T Rex mm-hmm. strike and stomp, stomp and strike. There, yeah, <laughs> that one. And then when I when you actually get it. It's not that great. The tail, the oh, the rubber so that bent. they have on the tail, it's so bad. And yeah, it, it for somebody that can customize, and unfortunately, I do customize my own toys. Uh, it's fun to like buy one like that at a very low price, which they are now going at very low prices, um, and customize it, make it look better. But I mean, to somebody that doesn't, and they just want a Jurassic Park toy, they they left so disappointed. So they're left okay with this choice. Or maybe finding a low priced one on eBay from the Kenner days. Mm, yeah. They're gonna go for the Kenner Day one. For sure. Yeah, you know I mean that's mm-hmm. why that's why the toys uh the old Jurassic Park and Lost World toys on, on eBay are just skyrocketed. I I, I can't even buy anything anymore on there because it's like three hundred dollars for for a freaking um Alpha Raptor from the Chaos Effect line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when that thing was like not even six bucks back in the day. Yeah. You know? Now, I mean, you, you say you say that now with all the the low prices and these things just you know sitting on the shelves and stuff like that with the Jurassic World line. But I wonder how much effect this is going to have on the the collecting community. Um, if you know, maybe after this news, people are going to head to the stores and actually pick up these toys because it might be the last time they see them on the shelves. You know, yes. that might yes. have a big effect. Um, not enough to save anything, but no. but it, you know we might not be seeing them on the shelves much longer. So it, it, we're kind of at that point where you kind of have to get them if you don't already, you know, or, or even just pick them up if you have it, you know. What has me a little worried too is uh, there's still some of the hybrid line that weren't launched, mm-hmm. and I've been on JP Toys uh, on there constantly on on the forums, and we're all wondering if they will be launched at all or they've been canceled because there was a uh, an indominus rex that they showed at the toy fair 
that was fairly decent. I, I think it was a pretty good sculpt. Um, yeah, wasn't best. It looked very the the head sculpt kind of looked a little bit cartoony. But then most most of the sculpts in Jurassic line, Jurassic World line look kind of cartoony. They didn't look too uh, realistic compared to Kenner. Mm -hmm. um, but it was a it was a cool sculpt. Like and I when I saw it, I was like, okay, I'll. I mean, I like to have like two of each of my dinosaurs uh, from uh -huh. Jurassic line. So I'd be like, this is male, this is female. I got two of them. <laughs> okay. So I, I felt like that Indominus with the, the red striping looked like it could be a male Indominus. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, um, but I don't, they say it might come out in November, but now it has me a little worried to think that if it does, it's going to be so limited mm -hmm. that if you see it or if you see it just once, you would have to pick it up because most likely you will not see it again. And yeah. right now, those green raptors are coming limited as well. You, you can get one off of Amazon, but I know that's going to fall off soon, too. So, like you said, it's it's going to become rare to see these, and people are going to start picking them up more, or scalpers. Scalpers is a big deal with all this stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I wonder because they they kept talking, I guess Hasbro, um, the, the CFO or CEO, kept talking about 2017 is going to be a great year, and it's going to continue strong. But I don't know how much of that is actually going to be Jurassic. I because I, I know I, I, I listened to like uh, the interview I guess he did and and reading the articles he actually skirted around Jurassic a lot. Anytime it was brought up, he kind of like switched his tune and started talking about Transformers or something else. So it really has me concerned as to what we will see, like you said, exactly the, rest of the year. Yeah, because if you if you look at um if you look at the when Jurassic World toys were launched, um. They were launched basically right around the time of the film. They, I remember walking to stores and, and going to uh, all these stores around my area and asking them, when is Jurassic World Toys going to be out? They would tell me, oh, next week. <laughs> I'd go next week. Weren't there. They had yeah. no idea. That's a big deal, too. The distribution that Hasbro has is awful. Just awful. Though it's Whenever they say they were going to be on the shelves, they weren't there. And it was right around the time the movie was about to launch in the United States. And it's like basically around that same month the toys were, were put in place or even I think it was like a week after or something. It was it wasn't too um too bef like you see other movies like Star Wars. Star Wars is in December and they launched everything in September. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you got you got Ninja Turtles and they launched everything like three months before mm -hmm. you got a lot of these movies batman as well batman versus superman you had that launch in like uh i think it was what was it march and you had the toys already in january showing up jurassic world was like june <laughs> june and i was like really like, it, i felt maybe they were trying to do you know keep the the indominus rex secret but the indominus was um it was all in the promotional stuff anyway way beyond, yeah way before that you know yeah so i'm thinking if he's saying 2017 is that is there even going to be a jurassic world line with hasbro at all because uh maybe you know, i mean maybe they're not going to launch at all with them you know yeah and maybe they're, gonna, they're they're probably just launching the rest of these hybrids that they have in production maybe and that's it yeah, there was a lot. There, you know, like what have we gotten so far? We've only gotten like three of them. You know, there hasn't been much. We got um, we got the Owen uh, Alpha Raptor, yeah. uh, the, the Green Raptor, and and the T Rex. The T Rex. Uh, I th think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So that's just <laughs> crazy. And but you you you've seen how many pieces were announced and, and shown at, at toy fairs yeah, and stuff. Like a, there's, there's so um, many. There's an ankylosaur with like armor on his back. It was like you can like I think you could take off the armor, add the armor. There was an Indominus Rex with armor like that, and mm -hmm. there were Basher fighters. Uh, yeah. There's the Colonel Raptor that everybody wants. Every you go on JP Toys Forum and it's like everybody's hoping the Colonel Raptor gets released. Yeah. We really want that one. I want that one. It looks <laughs> awesome. Um, there was a few others. I think maybe like three more, four more in the line. Can't remember. But, yeah, there, uh, there was a bunch. And there was a big Indominus. Mm. You know? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But you. I, I just. Is, go ahead. Oh no! I just wonder if if um they'll just do enough just to fulfill their obligation with Universal. You know, I, maybe I, they won't fill the shelves, but they'll do enough. 
Who knows? Yeah, because you know uh, Walmart's not carrying them anymore. Oh, are they not? I haven't uh, been there in a while. No, Walmart's like completely empty from most of uh, other JP Toy for, uh, members. I've, uh, I've heard that huh. Walmart's cleared out their shelf. Target has like a sliver <laughs> yeah. of a shelf. <laughs> And Toys R Us was never big on the whole Jurassic World line anyway. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, when you look at the the standees and stuff, I got mine from Target and I got mine from Walmart, all those like big displays. Uh, Toys R Us was embarrassing. It was just a freaking banner on the, yeah. on, on the top of the shelf. I thought they would have something cool. And I remember hearing all these like uh, rumors that there was going to be Jurassic Park gay and you walk through. And I was like, oh my God, it's going to be 1993 all over again. <laughs> and then... Nothing. So disappointed by walking into <laughs> Toys R Us and seeing a tiny little banner where you put the prices on. I was like, oh, this is yeah. so bad. It's definitely disappointing when under the same you know umbrella is Star Wars and mm, so much yep. is going on with that toy line. And, and while it may not be you know the best, it, it's still better than what we got. And it, yeah. you know, it, it kind of it stinks to look at the other spectrum and be like, oh man, I, you know, I wish we could get that kind of love Mm -hmm. and i feel and i feel you know i understand because comparing jurassic park to star wars you know i mean the demographic of people that go to see star wars it's been proven of course by the money that movie made but still you know there's a big fandom within the merchandise of dinosaurs jurassic park is the dinosaur line now you you have like uh, all these like like Rebor and these other toy lines that are making dinosaur figures. And then we got the awesome line that's coming from, uh, um, uh, Oh, what's this? The, the Jersey artist that he did. He did the, wow. I can't remember his name right now. <laughs> he, David Silva's is, is the, the artist and the sculptor. And he, he's, he's making these, uh, like realistic. Oh, the realistic rap- ones. That's right. Yeah. 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 I, I, it's escaping me right now. The yeah, name I forget of- exactly. But but you're right. Um, there's so many other companies taking advantage. When in in the past it was all Jurassic Park, and and to be honest, we don't need a movie to sustain a toy line. You know, these things no, would don't. sell on their own. And and, and to kids and, and even to collectors and adults, uh, dinosaurs can be everything. You know, you know that's the uh, way it was for me as a kid. Yeah. Um. Just got the name of the line, uh, "Beasts of the Mesozoic." Yes, and, that's it. From Creative Beast, and and they're they're amazing. These mm-hmm. raptors that he's creating, they're amazing, and it just shows in that we can have these cool looking dinosaurs. And Jurassic Park was the toy line for dinosaurs, so there it was a big license, and I feel it wasn't given the respect that it should have. For this Jurassic World line, it, you should have seen how excited we were. Uh, you know, what I mean, you yourself. You know, what I mean, how excited were you when you knew that Jurassic World was coming out, Jurassic Park Four, mm-hmm. knowing that you're like, yes, new toys are coming out. Yeah, that's one of the biggest things to get you know all excited about. And there's so much hype for the toys before, but they just didn't live up to our expectations. Maybe our expectations were a little too high, judging from our past. Probably. But yeah. but who knows? It's it's a it's a shame, and now it seems like it might be going away for who knows how long. But at the same time, Universal has to pick up the pieces right away, really, because they in do. 2018 we got another movie coming. Unless they don't want to have any toys, which who knows? We maybe that wouldn't be surprising. But It'd if they be the want, biggest mistake they can make financially, I, uh, of course. But if they if they want to do it, they got to do it now, and they got to get that ball rolling. So, what are your See, thoughts? Is, Who do you think? We don't, know the, we don't know what's going on behind the curtain, so they no. they might already have the ball rolling. That's true. Yeah, and that's the, why we're getting. That's why we're not getting the the hybrids, and we're getting little bits and pieces of rumors of cancellation. Mm-hmm. Probably Universal already cut the plug a little while ago, and we're just getting information now, and they already Possibly. have a working on something. Yeah. You know, what I mean, I wonder who though. I mean, there's like we said before, there's not a ton of companies that can take over that mantle. Like NECA is a good company, but NECA would make just collectors. Yep. And Universal would have put their all their eggs in that basket for the reason that NECA is not a mass producer for children's toys. No, they yeah. produce collectors' toys, and where the money is made is in kids' toys. Even though Star Wars is a uh, is meant more for, you know, collectors of all sorts or whatever, but a lot of kids buy their toys too and the adults and they're yes. kind of in between. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, Jurassic Park, they, you know, I mean, there's collectors like us, but then there's a, uh, I mean, they made a like Jurassic World Junior line for with a uh, preschool. Oh yeah, uh, very, very young toys. And they did that for the, I think it was like Jurassic Park three. That's where they started that line for like pre- <laughs> those were better sculpted though. These <laughs> ones look, uh, they're not that great. The the sounds on one of the Raptor ones that I bought for my nephew is awesome, and the T Rex one is awesome. But yeah. they keep T Rex three fingers. Oh. oh, yeah, that's there's a lot of mistakes like that on these lines. But but at this point, I think it's like you said, they they should spread the wealth and give it to multiple sources yep. like yep. like Mattel or something for for kids, and then NECA for maybe like a black series like Star Wars has for oh us. Oh my god, that'd be amazing! You know, and then an Alan Grant Funko. with like. Yeah. All those well, Alan Grant with like a bunch of articulation oh, or, or good Malcolm, you, you know, you get Dennis Nedry with his <laughs> desk set up, you know, oh. like sitting there, you could add stuff to his desk or, you you know, a thing that I always felt there was that I've actually uh, told uh, people we've we've never had a big um, sauropod dinosaur. Mm-hmm. You know, we had the Brachiosaur in Jurassic Park 3 toy line, but it's tiny. You know, you, you put that next to a human, it's it's a hatchling. You know, <laughs> I always felt that they should make like ones how they're doing with the Marvel series, how you build them up. Oh, you know, yeah, okay. Or like with the Batman figures for Suicide Squad, you build up Killer Croc from piece yeah. for piece. They should do something like that with the Jurassic line. You, yeah. build, you buy the whole line, you get yourself a freaking huge sauropod. You that know? would be amazing. That's a really good idea. It, it it would work so well because you know what I mean building a sort having a dinosaur that size or whatever it just uh, wouldn't work. But if you buy all like medium sized predators and plant eaters and stuff to for the line, you can build them up leg leg neck neck. I mean leg leg leg, piece of a neck tail, <laughs> torso boom. Exactly. There you got you have a huge freaking dinosaur. You can create the scene from Jurassic World. Very sad though, oh. but you can read it. <laughs> Sorry, too too, <laughs> too soon. <laughs> no, too soon. <laughs> but no, I think I think a lot of people are upset, but at the same time are are very happy. I uh, I kind of cataloged a few responses here um, over on Twitter. Uh, Thomas uh, Salerno here says, "Here's hoping that the license will be in better hands going forward. The world needs more quality dinosaur toys." Um, I fully agree with that. Aaron Beyer here says, this is bad news. Quality is easy to fix. It's the volume. Nobody can produce options and volume like Hasbro or Mattel. Um, Roland Squire here says, not surprised. Lots of toys looked (laughs) god-awful. Toy Box Soapbox says, the Jurassic World line was terrible. Even the dinos were vastly inferior to the Kenner originals. Mm -hmm. Um, Diego here says, does that mean NECA could pick up the license? Um, El Hermano here says, I think this is good. The Jurassic World toy line was pretty bad. And Brandon here says, good, the toy line or good. Their toy line was underwhelming anyways. So the consensus, the consensus is people hated that line, to be honest. I don't think there's any way around it. And people are happy. It's, it's a, it's a big deal. And I got tons more responses online that that basically said the same thing that everybody is is happy they all said good like that's a good thing it is it is a good thing in in a sense but like like we said it's also a bad thing because we have no idea who it's Mm -hmm. going to yeah you know Mm -hmm. and that's that's where i'm worried because there is like that one um uh tweet said that uh that one guy had said uh Hasbro, the way the volume of stuff and, mm-hmm. and the options that it produces, no other toy company is at that level. Yeah. There is a lot of toy companies that are out, but none like Hasbro. Hasbro, you know, he, they cornered the market. They had, they've had like a huge chunk of toy sales around the world. Yeah. And that's why it's why I feel like it's, it's going to less, the toys are going to be more rare. We know that's going to be, uh, that's there's no doubt about that Mm -hmm. it's not going to be like even with the like series two lost world or series two Jurassic park with kenner those were rare and there there was a a bunch of those made it was it was you know big toy company but with these with whoever we're going to get it with now it's not going to be everywhere Mm -hmm. and it might be in select stores it it might not be in every store and i mean maybe if universal pushes 
for every store. It's you know at the end of the day, like we say, it's Universal's choice. They they it's in their hands completely, mm -hmm. and they've always they they haven't always been the best with their uh, merchandise. You know, they, yeah. I mean, Disney is a monster with their merchandise. <laughs> they they will sell you anything with one of their characters. Universal, on the other hand, not so much. No. <laughs> you know. They did a, a great job in, in you know, in the early 90s with Jurassic Park and Lost World. Mm -hmm. And Jurassic World was kind of around there, but it was like you couldn't find the stuff. I remember uh, tweeting and talking to other collectors and Jurassic Park fans how it was so difficult to find everything that people would post it on, on Twitter or post it on the forums. Oh, I found these shirts at Five Below. Then we would be able were able to go there back then 93 you would go somewhere and everything was there for you everything yeah. you know mm -hmm. yeah like, you had the shirts in the in the shirt aisle you had toys there everything was laid out for you to buy all in one sitting you might not have the money for all of that <laughs> once, but it was there yeah it's it's strange times right now and you know there's a lot of people cheering in the streets but Unfortunately, the, the the future is a little cloudy, and we don't really know where it's going to go. Um, but but uh, I think we'll just wrap it up here for now. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Um, why don't you let people know where they can find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at jjurassic. That's J-A-Y-E uh, underscore Jurassic with a K at the end of Jurassic. Mm -hmm. And um, I have a blog, but haven't been on it too much to fill <laughs> stuff. I have a store and all that, but all that you can find on my Instagram page. And you'll know it when you see the collection and everything else. Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, when you see that thing, you'll know exactly who it is. And uh, like I said before, we'll have you on again very soon uh, when we have a little bit more time to talk about this and, and all the stuff that you do. So uh, thanks again, man. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, no problem. I'll talk to you soon. All right.